And finally, we head into space. American Space Agency NASA has groundbreaking plans for a railway station on the moon. But unlike the regular train stations here on Earth, this won't be for humans. This lunar railway station will pave the way for future exploration of the Craterfield satellite. Our next report explains the ambitious plans underway for greater moon exploration. Let's board the Space Express. When one hears the word railway station, one probably pictures platforms lined with trains. But hold on to your tickets, because some stations are out of this world. American Space Agency NASA is taking railway stations to new heights. Or should we say, to outer space? Because they're planning to build a railway station on the moon. Officials of NASA shared plans of building a lunar railway station. According to NASA, this station will be the hub of reliable, autonomous and efficient transport on the moon. It will help sustain the envisioned lunar ecosystem from the 2030s. The railway station won't be like the one seen on Earth. Here's the twist, because it will not be for humans, rather for robots. It is being dubbed the flexible levitation on a track or float. A magnetic marvel that'll glide over the rocky and rugged lunar terrain with ease. These float robots will zip around transporting payloads and minimizing lunar dust abrasion. No wheels, legs or tracks needed, just high-tech levitation. Unlike conventional roads, railways or cableways that we see on Earth, NASA will roll out the train tracks directly onto the lunar surface to avoid any major on-site construction. And these tracks will be mobile, which means they can be shifted according to need. The float design robots will be able to transport payloads of varying shapes. They will do it at slow but steady speeds of 0.5 meters per second or 1.8 kilometers per hour. And the large-scale float systems will be tasked with moving tons of load every day. So how will they do it? How will the train float? The float robots will levitate over the tracks using electromagnetic thrusts. It's basically levitation using magnetic forces. And there will also be the option of using solar panels for generating energy. The project's work will start with the designing, manufacturing and testing of prototypes. Then it's off to the lunar analog testbed for a grand demonstration. NASA will even investigate how factors including temperature and radiation affect performance. The human being's quest for innovation and exploration continues to push the boundaries of possibility. And now with NASA's ambitious plans for a lunar railway station, we will embark on a journey that symbolizes humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and progress. This futuristic concept is like a bold step towards establishing sustainable infrastructure beyond our planet. So get ready to moonwalk into the future of transportation. It's going to be one stellar ride. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.